Hi everyone, you might be wondering why I had to re-upload this video. Simply put, the original upload was flagged by YouTube for piracy or enabling dishonest behavior, even though the video contains neither of those things. They also decide they need to put an age restriction on it. Meanwhile, at the same time, you can go on YouTube and search up how to pirate Minecraft for free and get a bunch of video results without any age restrictions on them. I emailed back and forth with them a couple times showing them that there is no dishonesty in my video and that all the links in it are the official download links made by the creators of Nap and the Shader Pack, but for some reason YouTube wouldn't give me a straight answer and just kept on sending me the same canned responses accusing me of promoting piracy. Regardless, my best guess is that they might think that Discord is in some way a piracy app, so for this re-upload I'll be putting the links I used in Discord in the description instead. With that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. Hey guys, this will be a quick video on how to install the NAP resource pack for Minecraft version 1.16.3. As always, I'll be making this video as quick and to the point as possible. I'll be splitting up into sections, which you can see along the video's progress bar and in the description. Without further ado, let's get started by installing Optifine. If you already have Optifine installed, you can skip to the next section. First off, before we install Minecraft, we need to make sure our game is updated. Open up your launcher. Make a new profile. Make sure it sets to version 1.16.3. Make sure your new profile is selected in this little dropdown. Hit play and wait for all your files to download. Once that's done, you can close your game. Next up, we're going to need to go to Optifine.net. There will be a link for it in the description. From here, go to Downloads, Show All Versions. Make sure you have the 1.16.3 version, hit download. Don't click anything on this page aside from the skip button on the top right. Hit download again, save file, and we're just going to put it onto our desktop. Now we've got Optifine downloaded, double click on it. Hit install. And you can just hit OK. Now we can delete the file. Now that we have Optify installed, we need to select it in Minecraft. Open back up your Minecraft launcher. Go to Installations. Click these three little dots on the right side. Go to Edit. Select version 1.16.3 Optifine. Give it a name so it'll be easier to find later on. Click the little More Options box in the bottom right, and then change this to to half of however much RAM you have. For example, I have 32 gigs of RAM, so I usually set it to 16. Once you've done that, hit save, then go back to play, and launch your game. Once your game opens, you should see modded in the bottom left. If we go to our video settings, you can see there's some new settings now, including the shaders menu. You can now close your game. We will now be getting a shader pack. For this tutorial, I'll be using BSL, but you can use any shader pack that you want. First off, we'll download the settings file. This link will be in the description. Save that file and put on your desktop. Next up, open up the link to download BSL. Go to the bottom and download that as well. And you can save that file and put on your desktop. Now you can close your browser and open up Minecraft. Once your game opens up, go to Options, Video Settings, Shaders, and then Shaders folder. Click and drag these two files that you downloaded into this folder, and then go back into your game. Make sure it's selected right here, and hit Done. I'm going to go into the Nap server just to show you that everything's working. As you can see, the clouds look more realistic, and so does the water. Now let's get Nap. I will have the link to this website in the description. Once you're on the website, go to the downloads page. And for this tutorial, we'll be using NAP version 1.01 .01 because it's free. Hit skip and download. This file might take a little while to download depending on your internet connection. And we'll put this file onto our desktop. You can now close your web browser and open up Minecraft again. Once your game is open, go to options, resource packs, and then open pack folder. If you have the paid version of that, put that into this folder instead of the free version. Also, if you have any of the optional add-on packs like the 2D pack or the NAP records, put those into this folder now. Once you've done that, you can open your game back up again, 
Once your game launches, go to Options, Resource Packs, and then activate all of your packs. If you get this error message, just hit Yes. Now hit Done. I'm going to be going back onto the server again just to show you guys everything's working correctly. As you can see, the texture pack is now working. If you look closely at the textures, you can see the 3D bump mapping. If you're having issues getting this working, you can ask in the comments below or go to the troubleshooting tab in the NAP Discord server and ask there. I'll have it linked in the description. I hope you guys have a great day.